मानेश्री डेरी को ओबरायन जी सर ऑन सम डेज वी नीड टू रीस्टेट द वेरी ऑब्वियस एंड द वेरी बेसिक्स बट लेट मी स्टार्ट बाय डूइंग दैट सर वी लव आवर मदरलैंड we love our democracy we love our parliament we'll do what it takes to fight for the integrity of parliament we love the federalism with our founding fathers gave us and in fact the founding fathers would have thought this out in great detail and would have led us out of colonial rule and through our independence so but today we have to start questioning the very basics because today is black monday and there have been every monday sometimes if it's a bad monday can be a black monday but this is a black monday this is a dark day a dark day for parliamentary democracy a dark day for federalism a dark day for constitution a dark day for the rajya sabha and a dark day for the idea of india sir this is not rhetoric let me begin by telling you why it's a dark day for the constitution sir firstly what happened this morning by tearing up our sacred book was unnecessary there is no one can condone that but sir classroom basics article 3 of the constitution makes it very clear any from a new state by separation of territory from any state or by uniting two or more states or parts of states and it goes on to say basically what happened today sir because sometimes when we read the constitution also it's very clear what happened today what happened today is that the state government president's rule in jammu kashmir so you bring this presidential route and you rewrite the state this is basically what happened today i'll get to how even parliament was hoodwinked and made a mockery of but basically this is what has happened the constitution has been sadly either forgotten conveniently or thrown into the dustbin and before i proceed i would like to sincerely appeal through you sir to my friends in the parties with a strong regional presence be they in odisha be they in telangana be they in tamil nadu andhra pradesh or anywhere else bihar so what this basically means is up apply president's rule on a state then you dissolve the house then you bring a pres presidential proclamation yeah. <laughs> then in the morning you do this and i'll get to the parliamentary part of it then you pass it so bengal can become four states odisha what number what's your lucky number seven okay make it seven states or you or what still you make it ut sir this is the big issue of how this morning we have made a complete mockery of the constitution article 3 i want young india i want the students in classrooms around india i want the students in colleges around india go home this evening and read article 3 then you will know what the bjp have done to you today and the saddens me it is not the bjp alone they have some people with them now let's come to the mockery of parliament since thank you sir at least now i can get to make the point which i wanted to make but i couldn't make in the morning of a very simple rule the rule is like this sir the home minister and check the timing when this happened because this is important today what we saw was a mockery of parliament let me tell you how rule 29 which deals with list of business <coughs> i'm saying this with all the responsibility of my at my command at 1107 maybe 6 maybe 8 1107 the home minister moved a resolution and the bills about 
what all the three bills we are discussing, LOP has already mentioned that. That was at 11.07. I tried to raise this from 11 o'clock, 11.20 in the morning. At 11.07 that was done, the revised list of business reached the members at 11.18. What are we doing to this glorious institution? What are we doing to it? You will first move a resolution, then you will give us the, the revised business, and then as supplementary, which is supposed to come even one, give it to us one minute before. Two days though we've forgotten about. We are supposed to get everything two days before, but that we've forgotten about. Now we have to be ready for some, for some, for some crumbs they throw at us. But no, sir, no crumbs. We will fight this, we will fight this every day in parliament and outside. Yeah. Let's talk about federalism, sir. Don't believe what Trinamool Congress says or any party says. Believe what Dr. Ambedkar said. And Dr. Ambedkar has said more than once that the heart of our constitution is federal. And only in times of extremity do we look at it through the lens of unitary. So it's very clearly mentioned in the Constitution, sir. India, that is Bharat, is a union of states. Now I'll be told, sir, that how else could we have done this? This had to be done at the stealth of night. The Parliamentary Affairs Minister was sending SMSs to leaders of parties last night, reconfirming the list of business today. I'm not saying he can't do that, but don't, don't play these games. This is parliament. These are small, someone's called it dirty game. I don't even call it a dirty game, sir. This is cheap stuff. Cheap stuff. This is parliament. Sir, you have to make this big decision. You've subverted the constitution. You have applied all kinds of pressure here, there, every day. One, one member from here will go and join you. Sir, did you decide for big issues like this? Could you have called an all-political party meet? Could you have done something? We are all for national interest. First national interest, then state interest. So don't lecture her on this. Otherwise, I'll give you the history of 1947, and then you people will, will not like that. I don't want to go there today because the time is very limited. State issue. State issue. Federal issue. National issue, sir. And when these things happen, and if you're beyond parliament, beyond the tamed television channels and the tamed media owners, I also have to see what is happening in the social media today, this morning. It's being called by the right wing, this, and this is all over. They're calling it the final solution. Sir, the final solution? What does that mean? That means 1942. This was the Nazi plan for genocide. The code name to murder the Jews was called the final solution. Yeah. What are we witnessing today on August the 5th, 2019? Same path they are taking. What are we saying? <laughs> sir, sir, I want to take you back to Parliament. June, January 3rd, this year. The then Home Minister, Rajnath Singh Ji, assures Rajya Sabha, all is well. Bring on the elections in Parliament. We are waiting for the EC. June 29th, not very long ago, the present Home Minister, Home Minister, also in Parliament. Sir, there's a very important date here. March the 10th, parliamentary elections got announced. March 11th, EC appointed three observers for Jammu and Kashmir. Please tell me what those three EC observers said. They said what they said on April the 15th. And what did they say? They said observers reported to EC that the situation is conducive to hold elections immediately after the Lok Sabha polls. No political party said this. The three observers said this. And I know, which is predictable now, in the answer we'll hear, EC, Oh, I'm look, EC say I'm cook is Lenane Dinai. But we all know, sir. We all know what is happening. Sir. There's a lot of talk about. I'm also appealing to my other friends. I mentioned the parties. I'm also through you, sir, appealing to my three friends from the Ahmadmi Party. 
They have dealt with a lieutenant governor now for a long while. For God's sake, don't get into another lieutenant governor. Please oppose this legislation. <laughs> so I'll conclude. Yes, please. By paraphrasing three or four sentences, which pretty much summarizes today beyond the legality beyond the mockery of uh, parliamentary uh, institution beyond that sir i don't know whether it's anger disappointment or all rolled into one but this is the truth sir and that's why the trinamool stands here it's a paraphrase sir first they came for the dalits and i said i'm not a dalit so i didn't stand up then they came for the oppressed and i said oh i'm not an oppressed so i didn't stand up today they came for the kashmiris and i said oh i'm not a kashmiri so i won't stand up no sir we will stand up because then when they come for me there will be no one to stand up thank you sir thank you